Hi guys, welcome, happy new year guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, it's been a moment guys. Hey, how is your new year treating you guys? Um, hmm, we thank God because we have um, seen the new year. It's a gift, it's a gift, it's a gift from God that we are enjoying the new year. So guys, how are your holidays? Oh, it, the holidays are over because Christmas is come and gone. And now the new year, here we are. We have actually resumed. And uh, we have to face life as um, <laughs> work. People are working for a living. Uh, it's no, no more, it's no longer holidaying. It's a matter of uh, starting up and um, uh, facing life uh, in January. January is not easy guys it is not easy schools are opening on 9 so there's school fees to pay there are bills to pay and uh, yes the holiday season is over it is over but we enjoyed we had fun in the village and elsewhere and now people that travel to places are now back and here we are so guys it's just a matter of welcoming you to the new year and telling you that we are back. Actually, I disappeared completely. One of the things that happened to me is that I lost my phone over the Christmas season. Actually, uh, it was stolen. And I tried to get a new phone. Uh, it was expensive. It was impossible. So I actually could not even uh, be able to be happy. You know, when you lose the phone and the contacts and everything, there's nothing that feels good because your contacts. And then somebody tried to log in and uh, my Google account was kind of blocked. Oh my God, even when I got the headset, it was a problem. And I want to say blue line, blue line, the parcels um, uh, uh, line, the parcels uh, company that transports parcels in Kenya is the worst is the worst you can ever use because they are the ones that stole my phone. Uh, actually I had forgotten it home and when I asked somebody to send it to me where I was they used the blue line the blue line guys if you are in Kenya and you are intending to use blue line they are thieves they stole my phone and uh, I waited I could go every morning to check whether my parcel has, has, has arrived at their offices and they said they have not received finally after three or four visits, four days afterwards, it's when they said and admitted mm -hmm. that the, the phone, because I had the receipt, so there's no way they would have refused that the parcel was sent. They admitted that the parcel arrived, but it was stolen by a watchman of the company, but still, they are not willing to pay me for my phone. So guys, if you're in Kenya, and maybe you're sending your parcel using Blue Line, Blue Line to Kisumu, to Kakamega, or wherever, it is the worst company. Do not use it. They are going to steal. I had so many people complain about um, uh, their stolen luggage, especially especially if you said something like a phone. Because in the receipt, they indicate what you are sending. So they indicated that um, uh, somebody was sending to me a phone. And they indicated the type of the phone. So uh, they, 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 uh, um, they steal the passes that are important to, for, for clients. And because they think that it's a big company, there's nothing you can do to them. So you're so frustrated. You can imagine over Christmas without a phone. I was so frustrated, guys. I stayed without a phone all through Christmas up to the new year because I had to take a whole seven, eight days in the countryside. So it was not fun for me. If you ever lost a phone, you know it is never fun. Uh, so you feel so locked out of your life. I felt so locked out. And I decided that I'll tell people about that company called Blue Line. Beware of that company. Do not send your parcels with Blue Line. Don't give them business. They are very, very bad people. They are thieves. They are thieves. Thieves, thieves. Blue Line. Blue Line. My parcel was stolen. Uh, that was supposed to have been sent to uh, a place called Shamahoho in Kakamega. And they stole it. Black and, and they admitted that they, the phone was sent. But they could not give it to me because they say a watchman stole it so how is it my business how is it my business when my i have a receipt that this, uh, the parcel was sent so i was very disappointed i'm still very disappointed with that company they have refused to pay me my phone and i'm, I'm still very very inconvenienced because now 
you know you know what it means without a phone and this is january you feel very very bad blue line i'm announcing to everybody is a very bad company do not send your parcels using blue line better go to ise coach that is if you're in kenya and uh ise coach i hear is a very reliable parcel uh, companies and uh, it, it your parcels always arrive where they intended to go and uh, if they ever misplace your luggage they they pay you but they are, they, they are no cases of misplacement because they are reliable but this blue line thing blue line they are thieves they are they are very uncooperative you go to the counter to check with them and they, they have an attitude they don't want to say anything they're just looking at you like this and they're saying Hijafika, meaning it has not arrived four days after it was sent, which is very unusual. A person is supposed to arrive the same day or the following morning after it is sent. So I waited for four days, five days. I now had to go there and ask them, what do you think happened to my parcel, to my phone? Because it is actually a phone. Even in the, in the receipt, it is indicated it is a phone. And they said, okay, we have followed it up and we know that it arrived. But the watchman, our company, uh, a company's watchman is the one that received it because it was at night but they he says he, he, he kept it in this office he doesn't know who took it now you as a client you wonder is it your business to know who their watchman is you are supposed to go to the counter with your receipt because you have paid the money for sending and you receive your luggage your parcel so guys I want to tell you that blue line is a very bad company it, it, it is a, a not a, a reliable company. It's not a place that you can use to send your luggage to your, to your destination because they are going to steal it. As for me, they stole my phone. And I'm, I'm very inconvenienced up to now. Very, very inconvenienced. I was waiting for that phone of a Christmas season because I had forgotten it in Nairobi. But they stole it. So I said I'll announce it here that Blue Line are thieves. It's a bad camp. Don't give them business, people. Don't give them business. Your parcels will never arrive, especially when you have indicated that it is something like a phone or a laptop or something like that, a gadget that they, is important to you. It will not arrive. They steal. I had cases when I was there, people complaining that theirs were stolen. Theirs never arrived. But instead of them sorting out with you, they just frustrate you. So, guys, what I did is that I went to the police station. I reported I was given something called the OB number. Police will give you this kind of a paper, this piece of a paper. This is the OB number. OB number I reported and I, they gave me the, this. I don't know whether it is very clear. Uh -huh. This In the police station they just tear a piece of paper and they indicate and stamp that you have reported this case. So this case is reported but there is nothing they are doing about it. The police also will not help much because they say uh, the company should compensate. So when they, the, the police say uh, the company should compensate, you are left on your own. <laughs> Can you imagine? You have an OB number. The vehicle, they know the driver that they gave, the, the parcel, and the people are still working in those offices and they are not helping you in any way. So guys, I'm stuck here not knowing where to start because actually it is a lot of inconvenience. But anyway... It is what it is. It is what it is. Things have happened to people. And I'm saying this is one of those things that happened to me. It's, it's very unfortunate. Oh, You know, you may just wonder, is it just a phone? Yes, because of the contacts and everything. And the inconveniences. People looking for me, I'm not able to communicate with them. It is very, very inconveniencing. So guys, I was just doing this short video to tell you that Blue Line is a very unreliable company. Do not, do not, do not set parcels with them. They are thieves. They steal from people. My parcel was sent to Shamahoho, that is in Kakamega, from Nairobi. It never arrived. They stole it on the way. I have a receipt. I have the OB report at the police station that I've shown you guys. And uh, they are not doing anything about it. They are not doing anything about it. You go to the office to check. They just keep sending you to this and that manager telling you this and that manager will call you you wait for days your time in the village uh, expires you go back to Nairobi now in Nairobi I don't know where to go and start because now the offices are in Kakamega they said you to they give you contacts of their managers who don't answer the phone very 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 inconveniencing blue line blue line blue line thieves 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 don't send your parcels with blue line go to Isekoch 
if you are sending a person and said with easy coach i hear easy coach are very reliable nobody has ever lost their anything but blue line don't give them business i have to do this video and tell kenyans kenyans don't send your parcels with blue line because i found so many complaints there and they do nothing about it they just they are just a stealing company they are just thieves a company of thieves because they don't care you are the client you are the customer you're standing there at the counter they start calling uh, giving uh, calling each other hiding behind the, the corridors when making calls then they come and tell you you can check tomorrow then tomorrow you go they tell you we have not received any reports then the, that day you go they tell you the managers are investigating then the fourth day they tell you okay they investigated and they found that the phone was stolen by a watchman who is not on duty today so come tomorrow when the watchman is on duty he'll be asked where he put the phone then you go the fifth day they tell you okay the watchman admitted he received the phone and that he put it in a in the office but then in the office somebody stole the phone then you ask them who, who, where do i come in if he admitted he stole the phone why don't you as a company pay the client who is me you are supposed to pay me for my phone i don't i'm not supposed to, to know this watchman and uh, you can go to Kakamega, the other office of ours, in Kaka, which is uh, 40 kilometers from where I, 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 my parcel was supposed to, to be received. That I drive all the way to that other uh, Kakamega office to go and try to arrest that, that uh, watchman, who I don't even know. Guys, I was very, very frustrated. It is very, very frustrating. If it were not a phone, I would just abandon it. If it were any other parcel, like, uh, you know, food food stuff or something. But you see, it is a phone and it has all your information, all your everything. Then somebody steals that phone and tries to log in, to log in. And uh, then the Google, uh, Google, my Google account was blocked, even when I replaced my line, because actually I had to replace my line. So guys, I'm just, um, I'm just, I just had to, tell you this story because it's very frustrating and uh, y y very very frustrating very very frustrating because don't said things with this blue line blue line get to get this name blue line are thieves I'm still here without my phone but I have replaced the line but very very inconvenienced because of my contacts and everything so guys oh my god it was such a bad start it's not a video to start with this year but i have to post the app to upload this video so that people can hear and hear and hear that blue line are thieves and you should not uh, rely on them uh, to send your parcels said with is coach that's all uh, run away from thieves companies of thieves in kenya like blue line and uh, don't give them business because customers were crying at the counter and there's nobody who is taking care of them and also um when you report and you are given this ob number i don't know what you are required to do after that because you hear you there's nothing they do there's nothing they do about that they just give you that piece of paper you have reported you have the ob number and they don't follow up with the company to tell them pay the client's phone you don't follow it up so they don't follow it up so this is kenya for you very unfortunate <laughs> this is another type of a video I would have wanted to post uh, to start the year with but I to save another person from this pain I had to do it to tell you not to use blue line to send any parcels to your destinations because they will steal the, mo the important parcels they know them because you have to indicate what you are sending they will steal them and there is nothing you will do about it the managers are very unreliable they are not helpful to any customers to, to their clients so why should you give them business very very unreliable so guys happy new year ah it is what it is because uh, some of these things happen and we go on and uh, i can only say it is what it is it has happened what do we do anyway happy new year guys from the next video we'll talk about good things we are not going to lament we are not <laughs> we are not going to be in these moods from the next video guys we'll see you in the next one bye bye